Day in Missouri is now less than two weeks away. In Taney County, voters will see a recreational marijuana tax on the ballot. But voters say the ballot language is causing some confusion. Lauren Schwinker joins us live to clear up any misunderstandings before you go to vote. Paul, this is the sample ballot question viewers have emailed us about that they're confused about. Now let's read it out. Shall Taney County, Missouri impose a countywide sales tax of 3% on all tangible personal property retail sales of adult use marijuana sold in Taney County, Missouri. Now this part right here where it addresses tangible personal property, that's what's throwing people off. But I sat down with the county clerk this afternoon. She tells me that it's only putting a tax on recreational marijuana. The county decided to put a marijuana tax initiative on the ballot. That initiative has triggered confusion for voters. They think the ballot language is as clear as mud. I have heard that it has confused some people. The whole ballot language references that it is a retail sales tax on recreational marijuana. That's it. And as the August 8th special election approaches, the Taney County Clerk, Stephanie Spencer, wants to make sure you know what you're voting for. So it has nothing to do with people's personal property? It or does not, else. nope. The tax money, if passed, will be used to help local law enforcement. The campaign is called Back the Blue and Tax the Green. So as long as it's all in the marijuana category and not raising personal property taxes, I think we should be just fine. Natasha Johnson is a Taney County voter. She plans on voting and she's glad she now understands the ballot language. I feel like it will be a perfect aspect going towards the police department for technology and to help protect our community a little bit better. We spoke to other voters who did not wish to go on camera, but wish the money was going towards something else. As for changing the ballot language to make it more clear, the clerk says it's too late. It is approved and we cannot change it once it's on the ballot, of course, once it's been certified. Now, if you want to read more about this ballot issue or anything else on the Taney County, County ballot, you can visit ky3.com, click on this article. Then if you scroll to the very bottom where it says click here, it'll take you to a frequently asked questions page about that ballot issue. Reporting live from the alert desk, I'm Lauren Schwenker, KY3 News. Thank you.